Hi, friends. I'm Otis Gibbs, and I'm sitting here in my home in Indianapolis, Indiana, and I'd like to welcome you to the Roundup. Rounder Records is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year. That's 50 years of putting great music out into the world. And today we're going to share some of that music. Our guest today is Logan Ledger. I caught Logan's show last year at Lucy's in Austin, Texas. I remember him playing an old Gretsch White Falcon plugged into a silver face combo, and he had a language swooning quality to his voice that you don't hear enough these days. Now, any afternoon at Lucy's is time well spent, but this one definitely stood out. Today, Logan's playing songs off his debut album, which came out last month on Rounder Records. The album features some wonderful old-school crooning by Logan that's accentuated by some great guitar playing by Mark Rebo. You might remember him from Tom Waits' Rain Dogs album. <laughs> it's produced by the great T-Bone Burnett, so what's not to like about that? So, ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live from his home in Nashville, Tennessee, please welcome Rounder Records recording artist, Logan Ledger. Well, I'm gonna get over this Someday I might as well get over it now I'm Gonna get over this Somewhere though at the moment I don't know how I don't T-Bone Burnett, who produced my new album out on Rounder Records, which is uh, available as of a little over a month ago. And uh, that's the first song on side B. And I actually just made a um, music video with my friend Bella Mazzola of that song, so you should check that out on my YouTube channel. Um, but anyway, once again, thank you for joining us. Uh, we're in the, the Garden of Earthly Delights here, singing out with my Hieronymus Bosch and my pal Georgia over here on the couch. She's uh, not my dog, she's my roommate's dog, but uh, you know, we're roommates, me and Georgia. How you doing, Georgia? You okay? Just chilling over there? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna move right along here. 
Um, this next song, uh, this is a song that um, is about the unseen world that lives all around us. I wrote this song when I looked out the window and I thought it was raining outside, but uh, it wasn't. <laughs> I'm looking out my window at a sunny day. I'm imagining rain drops and clouds of gray. I'm wondering. Your heart is true. I'm a mountaineering raindrop. No sunny day could make me blue. Now the world that I see through the eyes. So much. <laughs> Imagining raindrops. Well, um, the next song is uh, probably the oldest song that I still play that I've written. And I sort of borrowed, I guess, the title from one of my childhood heroes, a fellow by the name of Mississippi John Hurt, folk blues, finger style guitar player that I really admired and loved when I was a child and still do. And he had a song called Let the Mermaids Flirt With Me, which uh, actually I come to find out uh, pretty recently was written by a, a lawyer in the 1920s or something. And he uh, actually sent the lyrics to John Hurt and with a tune. And he said, if you don't like the tune, you know, write a new one. And John uh, took the melody from an old Jimmy Rogers song called Waiting for a Train and uh, set the tune or set the lyrics to that tune. So in a way, you know, 
there's sort of a, a bit of folk transmission going on already with that song, but uh, this is my sort of, you know, uh, recycling of it. And, uh, you know, it's all part of the folk process, I guess. When my life is over Oh, baby, don't you grieve Just take me by the riverside Let the moon make its with me. Let the moon make its with me. Need the dark. Thank you. Um, well, you know, I got time for a couple more here. And this is a song uh, that was the very first single we released from the album about a year ago now. 
And it's a song. About a love that just can't live in the daylight. I had a friend who thought this song was about vampires. If that works for you, then I guess it's also about vampires. <laughs> Starlight. <laughs> um, uh, well, uh, we're nearing the end of my uh, rounder roundup here. And I'd just like to say that it's a pleasure to be part of the rounder family. Um, I got a rounder record right here. This is a, a Japanese pressing of an old Vassar Clemens record. I got this in Japan. Uh, you know, it's got the OP strip, which is pretty cool for all you, all you vinyl people. And, uh, once again, uh, you know, if you want to download or stream my record, it's another uh, rounder, rounder album. And just thank you so much, Rounder, for uh, you know for signing me. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's great to be part of a record label with such a storied history and uh, you know a lot of great artists that are currently on it. So um, yeah, I just want to keep on making Rounder records. So uh, this is a uh, they've asked uh, Rounder has asked all the artists doing this to. Uh, pick a song from the catalog of Rounder's, you know, history, and uh, I chose this song from the seminal, I think that's the right word, um, 19, early 70s record by uh, Norman Blake, the great mystic guitar player, one of my favorite uh, guitar players, definitely when I was growing up, uh, you know, I listened to a lot of Tony Rice and Norman Blake, a lot of different Rounder recordings, really, and this is a song that was on his first Round a record called uh, Back Home in Sulphur Springs, and uh, it's a little tune called Down Home Summertime Blues. I'm going to do it for you right now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, uh, please uh, tune in every week and you'll catch in a bunch of good music. You know. So here it is, Down Home Summertime Blues. Walking 
down the track, crossing all the bridges, just a rambling all over them long tall ridges. Lord, I got them down on the summertime blue. Me and Benny Joe and his brother called Water Boy all went down to see old Uncle Roy. Lord, I got them down on the summertime blue. What's that making the terrible roar? All that fuss down by the store. Lord, I got them down on summertime blue. Cotton gin a humming and the seagulls flying. Barefoot children just a fighting and a crying. Lord, I got them down on summertime blue. Down by the water tank, down by the depot. Watching that train just a rolling and a really slow. Lord, I got them down on summertime blue. Hot box burning, the sand pipe flowing, brass bell ringing in the black smoke. Lord, I got them down on summertime blue. Just a going swimming, dreaming all about them pretty young women. Long got them down on the summertime. Lying on the bank in the cool dark shade, dreaming all about them uptown ladies. Long got them down on the summertime blue. Look at them cows and horny old cattle, just a chopping that cane and a making it a rattle. Long got them down on the summertime blue. Chewing them stalks and picking that butter and giving that milk and good sweet butter. Lord, I got them down on summertime blue. Talking wires, black cross ties, and hobo's fires. Lord, I got them down on summertime blue. Standing on a platform, watching a boxcar, sliding in and picking that depot guitar. Lord, I got them down on summertime blue. That was Logan Ledger with a wonderful version of the Norman Blake classic, Down Home Summertime Blues. That song goes all the way back to 1972, and it was on Norman's first album, Back Home in Sulphur Springs. Now, Norman had been playing guitar every Sunday night on Johnny Cash's TV show, so he wasn't exactly an unknown. But at the time, Rounder was a brand new record label, and this was just its 12th release but it quickly became the label's best-selling album and was an instant classic. To this day, you can walk up to any campground picking circle at any bluegrass festival in America and hear pickers playing songs from back home in Sulphur Springs. That's a testament to the timeless genius of Norman Blake. I want to thank you for helping us celebrate Rounder's 50th anniversary, and I'd like to thank you for keeping our friends at Music Cares in your thoughts. They lend a helping hand to musicians in their time of need, and they're good people. If you can afford to help out, please consider donating to Music Cares. I'm looking forward to next week when our guest is Katie Pruitt, so please be sure and join us. So until next week, please take care of each other, hug your kids, tell them you love them, and stay safe out there. And thanks for watching the roundup.